But what about this next guy? Daniel's heading to Finland to meet a man who claims he can tolerate extreme heat. In fact, temperatures exceeding 265 degrees Fahrenheit. I've come to Finland, one of the coldest places on Earth, to meet sauna champion Timo Kalkonen, who has somehow developed the ability to withstand heat better than anyone else. In Nordic countries, sitting in a hot sauna is a tradition that goes back centuries. It's such an important part of their culture, they compete to see who can withstand the heat the longest. Here in Finland, Timo is a living legend, and his skills are rewarded handsomely. In these championships, the winner is the last man standing, with temperatures that start at 250 degrees Fahrenheit and go up and up. Quitting is not a thing I like to do, no matter what. I just don't want to quit. Timo has lasted for 16 minutes in temperatures hot enough to boil water, winning the world championship five times. But why can his body withstand heat better than anyone else? I'm here to scientifically test Timo to find out what makes him superhuman. We're headed to the location of the World Sauna Championships to really put Timo to the test. And the reason we're going there is they have the only sauna hot enough to actually challenge him. And I'm actually going to give it a go to see how hot it really is. This sauna can reach temperatures in excess of 265 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember, water boils at 212 degrees. As we set up the equipment for the test, the sauna shows us just how hot it really is. I put this camera in the corner of the sauna to capture all the action. It was so hot, it actually melted it. Worried about burns, we have a medic on standby. When we step out, it's oh sub-freezing. As a contortionist, I have a low tolerance to cold, as it makes my muscles contract. But I'll do anything in the name of science. Pain tolerance expert Dr. Robert Bolt is here to study our body's reaction to the sauna, to find out what sets Timo apart. Core temperature of Timo or the skin temperature around the core is 76. Oh and 82, so you have a better vasoconstriction in the oh, periphery. Yeah. I'll just check your hands. He begins his experiment by studying the difference between our skin temperatures in the cold. You're much more. You're up to almost, almost 80. Dr. Oh. Bolt has already spotted a difference. Now he wants to see how our skin reacts to the extreme heat of the world's hottest sauna. Oh, no. <coughs> I can't even breathe. <coughs> I feel like a cake in the oven. So we have the thermal imaging of Timo and Daniel in the sauna. And uh, it was quite interesting because before they went into the sauna, uh, Timo's skin was uh, cooler than Daniel's. It could be a sign that uh, his skin blood flow is better regulated than Daniel's. Man, such an extreme difference. Straight from being the coldest I've ever been in my whole life. <coughs> Now to the hottest. Oh, man. The thermometer won't even go any further. It's at 140 and it stops there. That's nearly 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Strangely, as the temperature rises, Timo's body is much redder than mine. That's way too hot. The steam makes my skin burn. Timo's gone red because blood is pumping through his skin to carry the fierce heat away from the surface to try to stop it burning. It seems so that uh, Timo can cool down his body a bit efficient, more efficiently than uh, Daniel, and Daniel is heating up faster than Timo. But uh, we'll follow up on this. After just one minute, my skin hits 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and the heat forces me out. Uh, I'm not Timo. I'm out. Oh. Even the handle's hot to touch. Oh, my God. Dr. Bolt's thermal data shows that my body heated up quicker, so I felt pain sooner. Oh, man. And now we have a spot on Timo's skin. It's around 130 Fahrenheit. 
Slowly, Timo's skin heats up to the temperature where I had to quit, but Timo just sits there, getting hotter. At 150 degrees, just a few seconds of exposure can cause permanent skin and nerve damage. Does he feel no pain? I just have to suffer the pain. I just have to stay in. The temperature inside the sauna is equivalent to a slow cooker, but after an incredible eight minutes, Timo emerges unharmed. Dr. Bolt thinks the test has shown skin circulation may be the key to Timo's power. The white skin is skin that there's no blood in, and the red skin is skin that there's a lot of blood in. But as we see, he has evenly distributed that he has very much blood all around his skin. To find out for certain, Dr. Bolt has another experiment back in the lab to prove what makes Timo a superhuman. My name is Daniel Browning Smith. My search for real life comic book superpowers has brought me to Finland to investigate a man I've just witnessed withstanding heat to a superhuman level. We put this camera in the corner of the sauna to capture all the action. It was so hot in there, it actually melted. And Timo could withstand temperatures that hot. The test suggested that Timo may regulate his skin more efficiently than a normal human, or he may have an incredibly high pain threshold. We are going to the laboratory of pain tolerance expert, Dr. Bolt, to find out how Timo does it. Dr. Bolt draws sections on our skin. He'll then use this mini hot plate called a thermode to run a series of tests that will measure our threshold for heat-induced pain. But it's not a pain endurance test. It's a pain threshold test. That is important. As soon as to get an accurate result, we must press the button as soon as we feel pain. And as usual, I go first. So, are you ready? Yes. So press the button as soon as it feels very warm. threshold for pain varies, but at around 110 degrees Fahrenheit, mine is about average. It's a vital natural instinct that has evolved for survival. Now it's time to find out if sauna champion Timo Kaukonen's ability to endure life-threatening temperatures is down to a superhuman pain threshold. You ready, Timo? The thermode on his skin heats up and up. Timo's heat pain threshold is off the scale. For ethical reasons, doctors can only run this test up to 130 degrees Fahrenheit, the point at which human tissue will be damaged by the heat. So Timo actually maxed out on five tests. Yeah. So he could have gone farther, but for safety precautions, the temperature wouldn't get any higher. Yes. That's wow. Nice. Timo's amazing threshold for heat pain consistently goes beyond the international standard for testing on humans. I don't think he doesn't have any ability to feel pain, but for a reason, some reason or another reason, he has a very high pain threshold. And Dr. Bolt has another experiment to find out why. So afterwards, I will see how hot your skin gets. Okay, and that's a thermometer? Yeah. Okay. The second test aims to prove that the lower body temperatures recorded earlier by the thermal camera are a result of a genetic difference in Timo's skin. This time after Dr. Bolt removes the thermode, he uses an electric thermometer to check the temperature of the skin. When the thermode reaches 97 degrees Fahrenheit, my skin is heated to 91 degrees pretty close to that of the hot plate. But what will we see when Timo's skin temperature is taken? It's completely different. When the thermode hits 122 Fahrenheit, his skin is consistently lower. This evidence confirms Dr. Bolt's suspicion. Timo's skin can more efficiently transmit heat away from the surface so the temperature Timo feels is actually much lower. It's this that takes Timo's heat tolerance to a superhuman level. 
it's plausible to say with the results we gather today that Timo has a different physiology than the rest of us. It's possible that it's something genetical. After filming this story, Timo suffered serious burns at the 2010 Sauna Championships, and another competitor died. We strongly remind viewers never to attempt the challenges seen on superhumans.